All right, what's going on? We got a 2014 Street Glide with the 103 in it, and it needs an oil change. We're gonna do a three-hole service using uh, semi-synthetic fluids and a new oil filter. So we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need three new O-rings for your three drain plugs, some thread sealer, you're gonna need a ratchet with the 5 8 on it, inch pound torque wrench and a foot pound torque wrench, a 3 8 Allen head uh, to get the transmission dipstick out. You're gonna need a T27 Torx bit to take your derby cover off, as well as an oil filter wrench. And if you're getting a oil filter with a nut on the back of it, like I got right here, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter to put the oil filter back on. So first things first, take your transmission dipstick out. I already broke mine loose. And take your oil dipstick out as well. Now take your T27 Torx bit, back all these out. Now take your derby cover off. All right, so once you have your dipsticks out and your derby cover off, I like to break the oil filter loose and take the oil filter out. Make sure your drip pan is in proper spot. Probably gonna make a little bit of a mess. Now take your 5 8 You have your transmission drain plug right up in here. It's through a hole in the frame. You have your motor drain plug right over here on the front of the oil pan and then your primary is on the other side. So take your 5 8 and we're gonna back those out and then we're gonna change the O-rings. Now I've taken all the drain plugs out and the oil is draining. I've taken all the old O-rings off. Now what we're gonna do is shoot these with some brake parts cleaner, clean up all the threads and then apply the new O-rings and some new thread sealer. So now once you got your drain plugs all cleaned up I like to take a little thread sealer and apply it to the threads. You don't need a whole lot, just a decent amount. Put a dab on there and then run it around with my fingers just to coat the threads, get you a good seal, just like that. You do that to all three and then you're ready to put them back in. You take the transmission drain plug, put it in the, the socket, reach up in there and get it started. All right, so once you get that started, you run down with the torque wrench to 18 foot-pounds. All right, so now we're gonna torque to 18 foot-pounds. There's 18. Get our socket off. And move on to the next one. Now, torque your other drain plugs to 18 foot-pounds. All right, so once you have your drain plugs back in, torque to your 18 foot-pounds, we're gonna clean where the oil filter goes with some brake cleaner, and then we're gonna reinstall our oil filter, making sure to put some fresh oil around the gasket surface. So I like to put a little oil around the O-ring right here, and I do a little bit of uh, oil inside the filter. Not enough to where it's gonna spill out, but just enough to wet the core in there. And now we're gonna thread it on. This one has a nut on the bottom of it, which if you get yours from a uh, Tucker Rocky or like drag, uh, they're typically a 17 millimeter. So now we're just gonna slide this oil filter in there. Once we get it started, I like to go hand tight. Now you're ready to add your oil. Today for the motor oil, I'm using semi-synthetic. Uh, get four quarts for the oil. And then for primary, I'm using Twin Power's uh, Big Twin Primary Lubricant. And for the transmission, I'm using 85-140, uh, semi-synthetic transmission fluid, all from Twin Power as well. Um, and then Bike Master Oil. You can run 2050 in all three holes if you want. We're gonna start with the primary. Harley sells these really cheap uh, funnels for your primary. If you're gonna be doing your maintenance yourself, you might as well just get one. They're uh, super like cheap and they make the job so much easier. So we're gonna put one quart of primary fluid. So when you're putting your derby cover back on, you wanna put some Loctite on every screw. What I like to do is put Loctite on a screw, hold the derby cover, derby cover up there, and then tighten this in a little bit, just so the derby cover will stay. Um, and then work your way around putting Loctite on every bolt. And then when you torque, you torque in a star pattern, just like you're putting on a car tire. Now we're gonna torque all the bolts down, maintaining a star shaped pattern. Um, and we're torquing to 120 inch pounds with a T27 Torx bit. Now we're going to add 
one quart of 85 140 semi synthetic transmission fluid to the smaller hole where your transmission dipstick goes into. After you put a new o-ring on your transmission dipstick give it a couple turns snug it up it doesn't have to be super tight. Now we're ready to add initially we're going to put in three quarts of our motor oil then we're going to start the bike and do a check. We're going to let it warm up we're going to get it to the make sure it's hot we're going to clean our dipstick off install it screw it all the way in and then screw it all the way out check our level and then add oil as needed so always start with three quarts and then warm the bike up and check start your bike make sure it's in neutral you don't want this thing rolling away from you and we're gonna let it warm up and then check our oil level again. All right, so now that the motor is nice and toasty, I'm gonna pull our dipstick back out, wipe it off. We're gonna check by screwing it all the way in and then taking it back out to see where we're at on the line. So we were about a half a quart low, so we're gonna grab our, we're gonna grab one more quart. This is why I told you to get four. Pop this thing open. We're gonna add, add in half a quart. So we just screw the dipstick back in. We're gonna start it one more time and check where we're at. As you can see there, we are at the top of the hash marks, which is full hot on the center stand because we are standing straight up. There's two marks, there's a full hot at a, jiffy stand and there's a full hot at the center stand so that's our level right there we're good to go we're gonna wipe this back off and we're ready to ride all right so that's how you service your twin cam street glide road king road glide make sure you get four quarts of engine oil as you saw we had to put three and a half quarts in this thing for motor oil a quart of primary fluid and a quart of transmission fluid get you a new oil filter always change the oil filter and three o-rings one for each train plug so super easy to do, save you a ton of money by not going to the dealership. All you really need is a drain pan, a 5 8 socket, a torque wrench. You need a T27 Torx bit, a couple ratchets, and you need oil filter wrench. You can use the socket style that you can get from your local Harley dealer, or you can use the band style that you could get from Napa or Advanced Auto Parts, something like that. So that concludes this video. I look forward to making more content for y'all. Y'all ride safe.